Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! It's me, Cooper. We're gonna be going outside today, because we need to go find some peoples. It is a good day for duels, and I wish to duel! Whoa, panic! What are you doing? <laughs> I forgot that you were a shadow duelist. You're that weak that I forgot who you were. Oh my gosh, okay, well, let's do this. I like Panic's deck. I like, uh, I like Castle of Dark Illusion, the Dark Zone deck. Funny enough, I'm using a light deck now instead of a dark deck like the last time I faced you, so this could go either way. Alright, let's see what happens. First duel is going to me. Ooh, getting jumped at night. What a creepy scenario. Shadow game, which means we'll get some more money for this. You get $30 every time you do a shadow game. Alright, I just want to draw more cards right now, so go ahead and kill my skill and jewel. Let's see what he chooses. Hmm, alright, Sorcerer of the Doom. Not a very powerful monster, but decent enough. Not bad, Panic, not bad. You got some, you got some Spunk. Ooh, Elf Slide, that might come in handy. Especially against the Darkness deck. Let's see what else we can draw. Double Elf Slide, interesting. Alright, I'm gonna summon Neo. And Neo's going to cut down Mr. Sorcerer here. We're gonna see what other cards, uh... Panic's hiding behind. Remember, he was uh, he's the he was a bully character, and bullies love to hide behind things. They aren't they aren't very brave. They're just dumb. All right, let's see what you got. Dragon zombie. I'm stronger than that. You are dumb. I was right about him being dumb. I was like, wait, you're proving me right. Why? Why would you choose to prove me right? Alright, well, let's go ahead and... Honestly, we're, we want to win this quicker, so let's just double buff. Elf Slight. I'm going to give one to Ro Rouge Doll, Rogue Doll, whatever. Uh, Rogue the Bat. Yeah, so Rogue Doll, whatever. And I'm going to give one to you. That way, they're both stronger than the Castle of Dark Illusions, which is the strongest card I can think of in his deck. Alright, you destroy you. There we go. Yeah, panic. You uh, you really shouldn't have jumped me. I'm like I'm 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 in the expert cup now. And I'm the winner of the beginner's cup. Like jump anybody else. Go find Taya for crying out loud. She'll fight. She'll fight you. That might be an interesting duel. All right. I'm just going to get your two cards that I just destroyed back and then use put one in attack mode because you're an idiot. Oh, there we go. Okay, at least... Ooh, and a face down. Never mind. I was making fun of him too often now. So, he's play, He's starting to play a little bit better. He got upset with all my insults, or fed up with all my insults. So, he was like, you know what? I'm going to start playing better. That's way better. He has Spirit Reaper. I was not expecting Spirit Reaper. I must admit, this is bad. All right. Main phase two, because I don't want him tributing for King of Yami Makai, I'm going to do this. Goodbye, Shining Abyss. Goodbye, Spirit Reaper. I didn't know you had such a good card, Panic. You almost caused, caused me to panic. Alright, another defense mode monster, nothing to fear. You know what show I've been re-watching recently that I think is really fun? I've been re-watching uh, Twin Peaks, and I actually gotta give it a recommendation. If you like crazy stuff, or crazy shows, watch Twin Peaks. Dark Mirror Force? Does that destroy my defense monster? You know what? That's kind of cool that it removes from... You know what? That's cool. I like that. That was a cool card. That was a cool card for sure. That was definitely a cool card. I, I respect that. I never thought I would ever get Dark Mirror Forced in my entire life, and that was the first time it's ever happened. So I, I respect the play. But yeah, I've been watching Twin Peaks. It is batshit insane. And it is, uh, again, obviously, I've seen it. I saw it when I was uh, a little bit younger. And it is really good. I have to recommend it. Now, it isn't a good thing. It's not good in the sense of like, hey, watch this show and you're going to like, oh, yeah, that's uh, that's one of his level five monsters. Um, and you're going to understand it. Or it's, it's not good the whole time. It's a show that's very slow. It's an old, old show. So you got to you got to give it you got to give it a break. You can't expect it to be very You got to expect it to be very interesting for the entire time. But if you could sit down and like just chill with it, like you're going to really enjoy it. Um... Sucks that I'm losing my spell card, but at the same time, this Luminous Soldier's stronger. Plus, Luminous Soldier has an effect that perfectly counters uh, Panic. He gets more powerful whenever he fights a dark monster. So something like Dragon Zombie, my attack goes up by 500. 
Yeah, he's the perfect counter to panic. So if he ever is dumb if he's ever dumb enough to play something in attack mode again, he's gonna pay for it. Alright, Panic. Uh, this duel's over next turn. I'll admit that you made it last a lot longer with that Spirit Reaper. Well, let's see. Can't get Spirit Reaper back with that, so who cares? Yeah, your level 5 monster sucks. It's barely stronger than Dragon Zombie. And I'm just gonna assume you set Dragon Zombie. In fact, I'm so... I, I, I believe it so much that I'm just gonna summon Hain Hain. I'm gonna attack it with Hain Hain. That's how much I believe that's Dragon Zombie. Oh my god. This is the first time ever you're gonna watch a Hain Hain beat Dragon Zombie by attacking it. Well, maybe the first time. Maybe you guys have played this game yourselves and done that exact scenario. Alright, Luminous Soldier, this is your game. This is your game. Go ahead. Yep, panic is done. We win, everybody. Alright, 78 experience. We're actually we're leveling up really quick. 78 isn't great experience anymore. It used to be really great, but not anymore. We need at least 80, 80s. 80s is decent. Yeah, no, your your shadow stuff is bullcrap. Nope, oh, it's time to sleep. Let's go to sleep. Makes sense. We, we, we stayed up all night getting jumped. I'm going to save the game just in case we run into another shadow game. Last, last thing we want is a game over. But we rarely lose duels. The last duel we lost was, I think, against my Valentine. But in total, I feel like we rarely lose duels. Like, in total. We, we may have lost, like, what, five duels overall? Maybe? If that. Alright. Do, do, do. Let's go outside. See what the outside world has to offer. No, let's check over here first. Who's over here? We got regular Yugi. We got... Level 3 opponent. We got... Ah! Taya! Run! <laughs> no, get away from Taya, please. She's a mad woman. She's angry that I'm never gonna duel her again because I don't want to. Her and Serenity never want to duel- And Mokuba! Mokuba's in that list of people I never want to duel again. Alright, I dueled them way too much in the beginning of the game. I'm done with them. Alright, so I'm curious about a level 4 opponent. Because I saw two level 4 opponents and I found out Kaiba's level 3, so who could it possibly be? I know one has to be Yugi, but the other one, who could they be? Level 3 opponent, who else do we got? You know what, this is the first person we found. Let's go to a level 2 opponent. It's Esperoba. Of course it's Esperoba. Why would I assume anything else? Yeah, yeah, you and your cosmic crap, whatever. ESP deck. I was expecting someone cool like Joey Wheeler. All I get is you. I don't know why the same people spawn all the time. I feel like I feel like I get unlucky. I feel like I could be luckier. So this hand is actually pretty damn lucky. Pretty pretty good. Pretty good hand. I don't think he can stop me from winning already. I think I won the duel. Just looking at the hand I have now, there's no way I lose this duel. Yep, even your gentleman can't stop me. I'm going to cut him down as fast as I cut you down. The only thing you could do to me is mind control. And then uh, gift of m m the martyr or the, the gift of the altar, whatever. Or sacrifice to the altar. I don't remember. It's hard to remember things. Brain no work, eat well. Alright, 100 damage. And you don't get to do anything because you're an AI. Reflect Bounder. Never mind. That's a good card. That's worth a Fisher. <laughs> That's worth using Fisher on. I'm going to summon the Silent Magician level 4. I'm going to activate my Fisher. And now I'm going to attack you for big big uh, chunks of damage. Hopefully I don't run into Mai today. She kicked my... Well, I kind of want to to get my revenge, but I don't want to lose another duel. Because I, I don't get to open a lot of packs on the days I lose. I only opened two packs yesterday, and that made me sad. Plus, we didn't get crap. We got, like, new insects at best. I want Pot of Greet. I want it so badly. It's literally the most broken card in the game, and I can't... I have Graceful Charity, at least, but I can't get... I want Pot of Greed. Alright, my Magician's at 15 now, so he can't kill it. Alright, pin our 100 life points. 
forgot about that card. Well, I'm going to lose my Magician, which is a real shame. I forgot he ran that card. At the end of the day, it's okay. I, I have Metal Morph, but I'm still sad that I lost my Magician. He was going to become so strong. Mesmer Control? Doesn't that like you let me take control of your card or something? Like, what does that do? I'm so confused. What does that card do again? When you're okay, when this card is played, your opponent cannot change the position of monsters. To, yeah, I don't want to. Thank you. I appreciate you uh, not letting me change my position because I want to metal morph and kill you. All right, metal morph. There we go. And here we go. Fiend Mega Sire. Metal Morph's just a good card. It's just a damn good card. Boom. Your big old fiend is done. And now your life points. I'm going to win on turn 8. Uh, that's my call, everybody. My Cooper predictions are 100% accurate. So, my prediction of winning on turn 8. I want you all to watch it happen. And yes, I know it seems uh, very li unlikely that I win on turn 8, but I believe. And when you believe strong enough, you make things happen. Alright, one face down. This looks like game. Graceful Charity to make it make sure that I win on the turn that I say I would win. Ah, perfect. Uh, goodbye you and goodbye you. Wait. No, I didn't want to throw away Thunder Nyan Nyan. No! That's the card I wanted to use right now! Crap. Crap a dappa. I mean, I'm still winning on this turn, but like, damn, that's unlucky. Okay, Elf's Light. We're just gonna give it over to the Shining Abyss guy. Yeah. We still win on this turn. It's just lame that I lost my Thunder Nyan Nyan. Oh, it's just Jinzo. I'm gonna eat some of those attack points. And now we finish him off. We got Shining Abyss mixed with Skellingel, which is plenty. Plenty of damage. Alright, yeah, this guy was nothing. That's, this is why the music is so calm right now. Because Esperoba just means nothing to us. Kaiba, Yugi, My Valentine, those are duels. Those are real duels. Um, who else is a real fight? Rebecca! Rebecca could be a real fight. She has an annoying deck to deal with. She's like the ultimate form of my... Or not my... Of, of uh... Taya and Serenity. Because she has good cards to make it work. To make her healing deck work. Yeah, you can't afford to lose. Oh, that's the first time he said I can't afford to lose, I think. Or not, maybe not the first time, but... He doesn't usually say that. Okay, anyone else? Level 2, that must be him again. I'm guessing level 1's like right here. Let me, get, let me see. Yeah, I called it. So... You're gonna be Rebecca. Okay, there's Rebecca. Yeah, you give me a lot of money, so I'm I'm totally down to duel you. Big Bang USA. Just don't do your stalls anymore. Your scapegoat strat is the most annoying thing in the world. She has two scapegoats every duel. Every duel she gets two. Thank you for letting me go first, at least. And if you don't wanna if you don't believe me, watch though what happens in this duel. This very duel will prove me right. Alright. I set one card. I have this card for Scapegoat, luckily. But she's just going to discard another card to use Scapegoat, so watch. She's going to attack me. I'm going to be like, okay, that's fine. Yep, you got your little Dancing Fairies. That's fine with me. I got big old Mystical Elf. She can block anything with her shield aura. Yeah, she's got that Holy Shield. And then you're going to set uh, Scapegoat. That's Scapegoat, too. She has two Scapegoats on the field. That's how much I have a fear Scapegoat. I believe everything is Scapegoat. Are you Scapegoat? I'm Scapegoat. Alright, now I'm going to activate Stimpak because amazing card with Mahavelo. Ah. Not bad. Um, I'd like to save my Magic Drain, actually. Plus, I could kill the card this turn. It's fine. I honestly, like, I'm not in any, I'm not in any danger. I just feel bad that I'm not going to be able to do what I really want. Rush Recklessly. Yeah, another 550. There we go. Yeah, I'm saving my magic drain for her scapegoat, because I know she has it. I'm not going to pretend she doesn't. 
So, what are you gonna do now? Maha Velo's sitting there all, all week. If you get another one of your strong monsters, you can kill her. Or not. Ah, another face down. Well, I guess I'd rather have you have it on the field rather than in your hand. Ah, damn. Never, never mind. I don't like that card. That card is good. It's good at its job. Alright, I'm gonna assume that this face down is the ladybug card, or the, the skull mark card that lets you heal. Called it. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, uh, Cooper's predictions, 100% accurate. Start believing in me. And then I'm going to assume I was right that that was Scapegoat all along down there. And then I'm going to Magic Drain, and then she's somehow going to stop me from Magic Draining. Ultimate Offering! That, you know what? Cooper, that wasn't a Cooper prediction. That was a bad guess. And that doesn't count as a Cooper prediction. Ah, you saved your warrior lady for just such an occasion. Just such an occasion as if I like me getting a Gemini L. But I'd rather have it gone than me uh, letting you tribute on your next turn. Although with Ultimate Offering, you can tribute whenever you want. Alright, she only has two cards left in her hand. I think we're in the clear. Yeah, that's what I thought. Come on, monster. Ah, damn. Still gonna help out a lot because Mahavela is gonna get so strong with this. That's 900 more attack points. And then I'm going to set Copycat, wait to use its effect, but have it on the field in case I want a moisture creature. Yeah, look at that. 900 more attack points just from one equip spell. That's the good stuff. Sorry, Rebecca. This is going to be a sad duel for you. Yeah. 500 life points isn't too scary. That's not good. Graceful Charity loves that card. In fact, I want to stop you from drawing so you don't get Scapegoat. Ah, oh, I couldn't stop her. She threw away Area Limit Level B again. I never understand why she does that. It's like the best card ever. And there goes my Scapegoat is what you all might be thinking. But, I mean, my Copycat, but no. In case she gets Gravity Bind, I need Copycat alive. Yeah, I know you're going to tribute yourself. I'm not, I'm not surprised. But, uh, yeah. I don't know why she throws away her best spells and traps. Like, that makes no sense to me. Alright. Well, hopefully that one face down that she got from Graceful Charity isn't going to be broken enough to stop me from getting a lot of damage in right now. Oh, yeah. 3350, everybody. That's the good stuff. That is the good stuff. Look at that. One more attack like that and she's dead. And I can get an exact kill, which means I'll get more money. Oh, wait. Forgot about Soul and Wishes. How could I forget? She top decked. Nothing. We win. I'll just put Mr. Golf in attack mode. Hooray. Copycat's useless. I'll set you just in case. All right. Can't win by exact damage? That's fine by me, as long as we win. 3,350 damage. And then Mystical Elf with your all-powerful 800 attack. You may think I'm joking, but no, that's actually pretty good. I used it back in uh, Falsebound Kingdom. Mystical Elf was actually a pretty good attacker in that game. Well, better defender, but good attacker in that game. Yay, 102 experience. We're almost to level 13. That's really good. I am quite I am quite happy with that uh, with that money. Aw, you lost. It's okay, Rebecca. You need to register me so I stop dueling you. Unless I really want to to get that 102 experience. Okay, level 3, that's probably Rebecca. Who the hell is this person? Level 1. Level 2. So that's Esperoba, that's Rebecca. Who is this? Rick's Raptor! Oh, cool! So you used to be level 1 and you're still level 1. I'm glad to see you didn't go down to level 0. That would have been sad. Alright, Raptor Rampage. Let's do this. And my moist deck is gonna destroy ya. Uh, he has a few combos that I, rec I, I think are pretty good, but I don't think he can beat us. I like my hand, but 
I want to let him have a chance. I'm going to let you go aggressive against me. You get to attack me first. I'm not going to play a monster that you can't get over. Unless you have Wasteland, then I'm in trouble. Wasteland would change everything. Oh, that changes everything. You got that on your first turn, so now you can attack me twice. Now, do I have... I don't have anything to stop that. Go for it. Alright, alright. Yeah, you see, Rex Raptor's not the worst duelist. He has something to do. Gemini Elf just made it so nothing he does matters anymore, but still. You gotta give him credit where credit is due. He did damage to me. And now he could always tribute a monster if he wants to. Those are usually trap holes in his new deck. His new deck loves trap hole. So, because I think it's trap hole, I'm gonna just summon Neo. I was right, it is trap hole. I gotta really hope he doesn't summon red eyes. <laughs> red eyes would be a problem. Alright, Mad Sword Beast, I can handle this. I'm gonna take some damage this turn, but it's fine. Can you imagine if I beat Rebecca, I beat Kaiba, I beat Yugi? Um, I beat all these people without ever losing to Yami. I, like, I never lost to Yami or Kaiba, but I lose to Rex Raptor. Like, would that make any sense? And I have a pretty good hand. It's just the fact that uh, he has trap holes. And I did not start with my seven tools of the bandit. Which I only have one of. And I guess I could play defensively. You know, you all make a good point. I could just play defensively. And then summon something bigger later. You know what? Your point is valid. I'm going to use that point. Just so I don't die, die next turn. Because if he has another trap hole, I lose the duel. Alright. Four monsters. Rex Raptor is not messing around. He has none of his boss monsters, but the monsters he does have are very powerful. Well, not really. 1600 to 1400 is not powerful. But you know what? They're, they're effective. They're effective monsters. I'm just going to have to stop him from being so effective. Alright, we're going to assume he has another trap hole, and I'm going to try and summon Gemini Elf. Okay, well, it's not trap hole. I'm going to try and attack with my Gemini Elf against his 2 out of King Rex, which could fuse. He has negate attack. Interesting. So yeah, I needed to stop him from negating, uh, from um, fusing his monsters, but I guess I can't. That's even worse. Now he's stronger than... No, no, wait, we tie. I believe that means we tie, which means I'm not willing to get rid of my card. At most, he's going to destroy my defense position monster, which I can live with. You made an interesting choice there, man. I could always go for summon skull. That's that's a point. That's a good point, people in my head. Is this how Dora feels? <laughs> like you can hear the she can hear the viewers. I can kind of hear what you guys are thinking. Like, not all the time, but when I do, it's it's loud and clear. Alright, let's summon the big old Summon Skull. Even your red eyes couldn't beat it. In fact, I don't know how you beat my Summon Skull. Unless you get Wasteland and Double Body Heat on your strongest dinosaur, which would be Brachioratus. Which can't be summoned anymore because I've killed two Eddie King Rex. Your fusion material is gone. And I've got plenty of face downs to keep me safe. Sadly, I can't use Thunder Nyan Nyan, but I'll be fine. Mahavelo's strong enough. The only thing Mahavelo can't kill is uh, Rex Raptor's ultimate monsters of Crawling Dragon number two and uh, two out of King Rex. But Shining Abyss can. So let's do this. Okay, destroy the face down. Giant rat. Okay, good. I'm glad it's gone. Now we know. So, what other cards are you searching for? Urby? Okay. Thank you for... I, I forgot, you had to summon in attack mode, so at least I can do some damage this turn. Because the Rex Raptor is giving me a real duel here. He always does... He always seems to do it. Even way back when I had that dark deck, he, he, he's gotten close to beating me before. And this is one of those duels where he's close to beating me. He just needs to top deck something amazing. I'm honestly rooting for the guy. Okay, that's a good top deck. You know, it's, it's, it's fine. Good enough for me to magic drain. Because it buffs all of his monsters, and I don't want that. Ah, oh, so the card in your hand isn't a dino. Oh, it's been a tribute monster this whole time! 
Sword Arm of Dragon. Interesting. Very interesting. I'm gonna negate attack, because I need my monster to help clear out your field. Well, that's cool that you got to summon your one of your tribute monsters, but you're just not that tough. So I'm gonna summon Maha Velo, and we're gonna start getting rid of some of your defenses. And then you're not, not gonna have any tribute monsters to summon your red eyes, and then you're gonna lose. So, sorry buddy. You got really close again. 2850. 2850. In fact, had you summoned that sword arm in defense mode, I might have been a little bit intimidated. Because I didn't- you tribute a monster and I didn't get to see what it was. But then again, Summon Skull would have just gone and killed it. Summon Skull's super strong. It's such a cool original card from the- a uh, uh, classic card from the game. It's like, yeah, here's a 6 star, 2500 attack points. What's its weakness? It has 1250 defense- it uh, has 1200 defense points. But- but sir, it has 2500 attack points. We know. It's a great idea. Kids will love this shit. Also, make it- uh, give it to the guy who's the main character. But sir, it looks so evil! I know. Give it to the main character. I- I, I think I love you, sir. <laughs> it's like you're- I love my boss because he's actually cool. There we go. And... Hain Hain, maybe? Neo. Neo's better. I'm glad I drew a Neo. The only reason I stopped him is because I'm trying to destroy him. He's- he's- it's, this has been a long enough duel. I want to go buy some packs already. Alright, you go- you go to hell. And then... I have Neo to destroy the... Tw two- Twin-headed- or Two-headed King Rex. There we go. And he's gonna survive for one more turn, but he has no cards on the field or in his hand. So if he makes a comeback from this, then he wins. I- I give it to him. The only thing I can think of that would make him have a comeback would be Snatch Steel... And then a card to destroy Hain Hain before it gets to activate its effect. And that's it. And I don't think he has Snatch Deal because he's a level 1 opponent. Alright, I've turned it around, Rex. You gotta do something, man. You've gotten so close to beating me. Ah, look at that. You're gonna do 50 damage. Alright. At least he tried, guys. At least he tried. Give him some credit. Not everybody can try as hard as Rex Raptor. Alright, thanks for the duel, man. Thanks for the duel. I think it's funny that Crawling Dragon level 2 is actually- or number 2 is actually a dinosaur and not a dragon. But it has dragon in its name. It's so weird. Uh, Seven Skull, why don't you do the honors? Kill that thing. And then who should end the duel? I think I'll give it to the Silent Magician. Or, yeah, the Silent, uh, yeah, Magician. Because I never get to use him. Yeah, I only have one in my deck, and I rarely draw him. There you go, little Magician guy. You did good. We did it, everybody. Rex Raptor has been defeated. He's only worth 66 experience, but we'll take it. Alright, looks like another day where we buy... Ooh, we can buy three packs today. That's a little bit better than normal. I was taking it easy on you. You always take it easy on me, Rex. You're such a nice guy. Not a sore loser at all. Alright, let's go. I want to buy some packs. We can buy three packs today. I still want to get Pot of Greed, even though everyone's yelling at me to get other packs. Until I get Pot of Greed, I'm not giving anyone else what they want. I know you're in here. I know you're hiding in here, Pot of Greed. Give me that freaking Pot of Greed. I want... It's in this one. Let's see. Brachio Radis, Brocco Grotto, Just Desserts, Big Eye, Reaper of the Cards. Cool. At least it's a new card, but it's not what I'm looking for. It must have been this one. Crass Clown, Big Eye, Hitotsumi Giant, Larvae Moth, Judge Man. Oh, cool, Judge Man. Yeah, that's a cool warrior monster. And the last pack I will buy will be the newest pack because everyone's been yelling at me to buy new packs. Here we go. Fatal Abacus, Seven, Cyber Raider, Sisters of Dalga. A Sister of Dalga could be good if I have a fairy deck. Yeah, honestly, this could be good. Cyber Raider, not so much in my opinion. Everything else is fine. This was an oh no nah, not really. This was a med day. A med day for buying packs. No, I have no money. 
I have no money, sir. I'm sorry. I'll come back with more money. Every day I come back with more money. And every day I get disappointed. Except for... No, honestly, I've, been, I've gotten super lucky. I just can't get Pot of Greed. That's my one, one, my one fault. Everyone else in the game has Pot of Greed but me. And I really want it. But that's going to be it for the day, guys. I want to thank you all for watching. Next time, we're going to be going out at night and hopefully finding a Shizu, who I've been trying to find, but then again, I haven't. I've, been, I've also been trying to earn money and level up a little bit. But that'll be it. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.